What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of a 4. In this video we're going to be doing issue 78 of Builder Terminator T800. Looks like we get quite a few bits in here. As you can see I've gone and taken um, the replacement finger fix and I have got a few of them ready just in case we need to do that just to save some time really. So you just need to check off all your parts make sure that they're there. We'll just quickly get them out it's not going to take long because there isn't that much in this one. So. We have this. A lot of people recommended that this should be metal, really. Um, I, I totally agree. I mean, this is plastic and it is holding really heavy metal fingers. So uh, I hope that somebody could possibly come up with some sort of replacement for this. Um, but for now, it will have to do. Um, all the pieces are just in here. Make sure you check off all your parts, guys. You do need to make sure everything is there. Um, you should have, by the looks of it, a finger pin that I'm hoping we're not going to have to install. Uh, but we'll check that one out in a minute. A couple of screws and a couple of little washers here as well. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to get them out ready. So the two washers are there. And then there's a couple of little, well there's three screws that come with it as well. So, we might need to use that, I don't know, I'm hoping we don't have to use it. I'm hoping the finger fix will sort that out. Um, but we'll see. So there's nothing else left in there, so we'll just pop that up out of the way. Right, so once you've checked all your pieces off, it's just telling us a, a rough area of where we're going to be building onto this. So as you can see here, it says we're going to do a top hand, just underneath the arm. So it says components for the left hand and arm joint. So that's really cool. What we're going to do now is just see what it wants us to do. So the first thing it's asking us to do is take 78-3, which is this one, and it's saying from issue 77, which was a previous issue, to go grab the finger. So we've got the finger here. So we've got that there. I'm just going to just bring it closer so you guys can see so that that kind of zooms in on it nicely there. Um, and they want us to attach that onto the bottom of this like so. So that needs to go on there like that to hold that into place. So what I'm going to do, it wants us to use that pin. I'm hoping we can use um, the finger fix, which is something that I really hope we can use. I'm just going to double check to see. We definitely used it on the other one, so that's not an issue at all. So they're saying pop it through the top there, like so, and then they're asking for us to put that through. Um, it'll be quite a bit of a stretch to put a washer in there. I'm just going to double check. I don't think we put a washer in on the last ones. No, we didn't need to, so that was fine. So let's hope that this reaches where we want it to go. It might be the fact that I need to get one that's not pre-done already, but it seems like it will go in okay. Yeah, it's definitely gripping it, so that's fine. So there we go. So that that is using the finger fix um, by Modern Mods, so that's just in there now. I don't know if you can see it, so you just I just had one re pre set up so already glued into the um the retainer inside the glued to that that just goes through and then you just need to take another um screw on the other side which looks like that and then screw that into place and then that just holds in really well look at that that finger is not going to move until i mold that into the position that i want it to be in which is what should happen because if you want it to pose and you know you want it to hold the gun etc that's what you want. You don't want them flopping around and not being able to hold anything. That is definitely what you want there. So that's perfect. So what we're going to do, that's what it's saying to have it at that stage. As you can see, the finger fix works absolutely fine. So once we've done that, um, it's telling us how to put it together. We, <laughs> it's funny, let's just mold it. There we go. Um, so we've already done steps one to three because we just eliminated the horrible um, pins. So they're the pins that you get with it. Um, and that's what we eliminated. We don't want to use those because, I mean, if you have no choice and you can't afford to buy them, I absolutely understand that and you have to use them. Um, but they should have, their um, theory of using those rubbers to hold them in place are, are okay. They're okay. They're not brilliant, um, but they the finger fix is just like, it's not expensive to buy, so it's just worth going to go grab it. The next thing it wants us to do, it wants us to take 78-2, which is this piece here, and it wants us to put 78-7, which is this little um, grid part, and that needs to go into here like so. So they are all cut out, pre-ready to go, so you just kind of just need to line them up. 
you just sort of turn it until it fits in position like that um, but you do need to put super glue on the ends before you go and put it into position just like I did but you can push it back out if need be so it's fine there you go so what we need to do now is the same for us to just take the super glue and it tells us to just pop them on the end it tells us to use a cocktail stick but if you get one of these um, pens here the Loctite pens they're so easy to use and they only give out they're like a gel and they only give out as much as you really need and they are really handy to use so all you got to do is put that in and glue them into place making sure that you get it in position once it's in there you go and then it's done so it's saying you to go grab the piece from issue 77 which is going to be this bit here because we are going to be building on to that so it's saying for us to pop that onto the side. So we are gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna double check on this bit. Okay, yeah, cool. Right, so that's fine. So with it this way up, this section here needs to pop into position like that. So that will sit in like so, but they are asking us to glue that in as well. So we will have to go do that now. So, um, it tells you on there a blue sort of like outline of where they want you to put the glue so all you need to do is really kind of copy that so I'm just going to use this pen because this pen is so fast and so quick at doing this uh, because it is really good probably put a bit too much on there but I think you can never have too much of something to hold it into position and then you just need to line this up nicely. That will just slot into there. Push it down, being careful not to get super glue all over your fingers and glue yourself to it. So once you've got it in place and you're happy with it and it's all locked in, wait for the glue to set obviously. It should look like that on the side. So that is the piece there. Then you've got the grid pit in there which helps you um, move it up and down so when you're trying to position the arms. And I guess we'll be building onto the other side in a bit. So once that's in place, it's asking us to go grab 77-1, which is this one. And then it's saying for us to go grab this piece here. So you need to go grab that piece that was from a previous issue, that's 73-3. With it this way up like so, it's saying for us to just pop that into the bottom hole, which is just at the bottom there. So it says to pop that in the bottom hole. And then it wants us to put the two washers, which it came with, which are just here, on top. So this is going to get fiddly, guys. So probably best to just pop them on top first. So I can't get this without sliding it to the edge of the table. So put those two on top there. And then what you want to do is you want to just put that into position. And then you need to take this top section here, 78-1. And that is put on top to hold it all together. So, with um, a bit of fiddliness, line it all up. And then it should go together like that. So, that's all held in here. And then I'm holding it. I can't let go of it because it will fall apart. And then the washers, the two washers. Um, you should have one washer in at the bottom. And then one washer in at the top. So, I wouldn't put two in one side. I'm pretty sure that they want us to put one washer one side one washer the other side so i'm going to go do that um because it will look a lot neater it, it doesn't really sort of demonstrate it very easily but i'm pretty sure that's what it wants us to do so that is what i'm going to do for this instead of the way around that they were suggesting so that's one washer there another washer's fallen into there it's fine so pop that in there and then I'm going to pop the other washer, which I now have just put down onto the side. Here, that's going to go on the other side. And then I'm going to just have it so that there's one either side. Because to me, that just makes more sense. So it might be telling us to do that, but there you go. So we've got one washer either side of there now. So one there, one there, as opposed to two at the top. And, you know, that's just so that that can move around freely. It tells us to get some um, PB screws, which we have here. I just need to change my end over, which I have ready. And we need to just pop two PB screws in at the top section 
um, just down there and there. I'll see how quickly we can do those. I don't think we will need to fast forward through at all. I think we could probably get this done really easily. So remember the guys, this is just plastic. Do not over tighten this. Just do it up nice and neatly and do not go crazy on it. I'm glad we get to build more. It makes the issue, um, you know, more enjoyable. Uh, so I do like that. Just gonna do that up nicely. There we go. So that is now fixed into position like that. And then that's held together. So there you go. So that's like that. So once you've finished that, that is pretty much all we get to do in this one. So there are three pieces we should have now. So we should have, it's gonna be hard for me to hold all of this up to show and demonstrate it. But we should have the hand, which looks like that. And then we should have, if I can get my finger through there like that, the pieces like this. So that's what we should have at this stage. So you should have the hand with one finger, uh, the top of the arm, and then another piece at the top there, that section here. And that is it for that one. So guys, I, I'm really enjoying building this. I can't wait to put it all together. I'm going to be really sad once it's all complete because, well, I guess we're just going to build something else. But it's just really cool um, how it's all come together, how they managed to put so much in such a small issue um, to be able to build something so magnificent. So I really do like that. So we've got them. Uh, so a little bit about an ant, a giant ant, um, something about insects when bugs go big. And then in the next one, we'll be back in the next week's issue, assembling the second left finger and upper arm. So again, guys, I can't wait to do this with you. If you haven't already, please subscribe by supporting the channel by clicking just down here. And if you can, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you're building this as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.